Does your Eskimo ice auger leak fuel? Of course it does. Let's fix that. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Randy and you're watching Go Midwest Fishing where we talk about fishing, camping, and technology. Today we got an Eskimo ice auger. It's the Stingray 12 horsepower auger and it's leaking fuel. Now if you have an Eskimo ice auger and you've had it more than a few years, you probably have the same problem. The most likely cause of this problem is gonna be your fuel line that runs from your tank to your carburetor. And here's a close up of the one that came out of here. I just pulled it out and uh, the problem with these is they get brittle. This thing is like super hard, like barely bend it. Yeah, they get really hard and then the rubber grommet that goes through the uh, tank, it hardens up and it leaks around there. So for about 20 bucks, you can buy a replacement kit off Amazon. Comes with all the replacement hoses and the rubber grommets and a fuel filter at the end. And I'm only gonna replace the fuel line from the tank to the carburetor today. The other ones still look fine, although they can tell they are hardened up, but uh, I don't see any leaks there yet. So let's just replace this one. All right, let's take a closer look at what we're dealing with here. There's the hole in the tank where the rubber grommet goes. And here is our fuel line. It's attached to our carburetor. Now this thing is really stiff too, so you're gonna need some pliers to pull it off. We just cut our line right there, snipped it off, pulled this old one out. There's the old one, just pulled that one right out of the tank. And then uh, we still need to get rid of this other piece. If you find it's difficult to get off, you can always take a uh, razor blade and just cut the hose down lengthwise there. Just be careful you don't hit any of these other things in the way there. You don't want to cause any more problems. And then just grab a pliers if you can and just see if we can't pull that baby off of there. This is probably the hardest part of the whole project. Come on! I need to cut it some more. Like that. Just make sure you don't hit that bulb there. You don't want to cut that open. All right, keep pulling this thing up. There we go. There, popped off the old one. Now you can see we're dealing with a nice clean nozzle right there. We can put the new hose on. All right, so the nice new hose there, nice and flexible. Way better than the uh, last one. So it comes with everything you need, the little rubber grommets right on there and the filter. So just slide that in the tank, slide that on the end of the carburetor and we should be good to go. I'm not sure if it matters which order I do this in. I'll put that in the tank first and then see if I can't get this on right there. That's on. You might need to use your pliers here to help kind of push the hose on, but try not to damage it. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. She went right on. Now you can see it. It's all on there. Now just to feed the rest of this hose into the tank and put the rubber grommet into that hole right there. I'm just going to use a screwdriver and kind of help push it in. Get in there. All right, got in there, it lays nice and flat on the outside and you can look inside the tank. See it down there, you can make sure it's all the way through and seated properly. And now the more flexible holes there creates a better seal around that rubber grommet. It's on there and now let's just hope that these other lines don't leak. If they do, we have, uh, so they came with these two extra pieces here. So we'll keep those just in case we need to replace those. But uh, now we'll just put some gas in it and. Run it and see if it leaks. Oh. It's almost the end of the season here, so I'm just gonna fill up just so it goes past that grommet, which it is. Put the cover back on it. And wipe up some of this fuel I spilled to make sure I can tell if it's actually leaking or not. Ah, right, see if she runs. Loosen that up, turn it on, 
Sorry, the choke. Alright. Right there is a good reason to switch to electric augers. All right, I'm gonna let it sit for a second and try it again. Come on, baby, start. big stream and just pour down onto the ice. It's pretty good to me. All right, now I'm really curious how many people have had the same problem with their Eskimos. It seems to be a, a pretty common thing. I've had a couple of them and they, they've all leaked gas. So if you had one and it leaked gas too, please let me know. Just write down in the comments below. Tell me about your experience with your Eskimo so I can see if I, that I'm not the only one uh, with the same problem. Um, if you did like this video, I'll have the article on it on my uh, blog, goldmidwestfishing.com, along with all kinds of other great, interesting articles for you to read there. All right, I really appreciate you watching. Bye, everybody.